All right, so there is my um, flower with a grid on it. Let me show you how I did that. So this is Nick's original assignment up in here. Here, let me actually delete this so I can do it over again for you guys. So here's Nick's assignment. He's got his flower up and in there. And what you're gonna wanna do um, is you're gonna wanna copy your photo. Now, if you attached it as a JPEG, you might have to go back to the website and just hit copy. So right now I'm just gonna click on the photo and I'm just gonna control C, copy that. I just did that, so. Now down here, what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna go into insert. Don't do this right now, just listen for right now, guys, and then uh, when I'm done, you can do it. Uh, I'm gonna go into insert, and I'm going to insert a drawing, and see where it says new? Let's click that. All right, so it gives me this little like waffle screen, and uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna paste in that flower. So I'm just gonna go do control and V, and there's Nick's flower. So I'm just gonna move that up to the corner. I guess I don't need to do that yet. And uh, the first thing I wanna do is crop it. We're trying to make this look like George O'Keefe. And so you want like at least two sides of like the flowers and stuff to really touch the edge of the screen. So we've got all this like empty space in here. I'm gonna crop it and I, I'm gonna have you guys keep this a rectangle. So right now, Nick's picture is a, a square. We're gonna we're gonna crop it down into a rectangle, a normal size rectangle, um, sort of like just a normal proportioned like four by six and a half or four and a half by six rectangle. And I'll show you how to change the size in a minute. But let's just do the cropping first. Step one: crop it. So uh, that's not the right button. Crop is over here. See, I told you I did it this morning, and I'm gonna mess it all up now. So I've got my little croppy things, and I want to get rid of a lot of this empty space. And actually this big flower right in the front is sort of our, our main focus. So I'm gonna bring the line down just so it touches that um, petal right there. And I'm gonna bring this one up because I want the other side to touch the edge of the crop box too. And now my rectangle is way too long. It's like not a normal size rectangle. So I'm gonna bring this in so it's, it's like proportioned like a regular sheet of paper. So something like that would probably be fine. I'm gonna hit enter. All right, don't forget to hit enter. And now I'm gonna shove it up in the corner here because I wanna see how big it is. Okay, so right now it's about four and a half by, I don't know, three and something. So I'm gonna wanna make this, um, oh, I had it written down and now I lost it. Uh, let's say four and a half by six inches. So, and it doesn't matter if it's vertical, then just do it the other way. Make it four and a half this way and uh, six inches the other way. So six is over here. I'm gonna stretch this. Now this is really important. Don't grab the sides because you're gonna mess up the proportions of the flower big time. Make sure you grab this corner and just stretch it out so that it's at the six mark there. You guys can see the ruler at the top of the page is a little six right there. And mine happened to fit almost per perfectly because I did my rectangle good to begin with. Like I had a normal size rectangle. If your rectangle was a little long, you might find that you have to crop a little bit more off. Or you could stretch it just a tiny bit. I, I really like don't want you to stretch it too much because you'll screw up the proportions of the flower. But see how it's just a tiny bit off? So I can just, I can do that. And it's not gonna mess up my flower at all, all right? Don't stretch it unless it's like super close. If it's not super close, just crop it down to the right size. So I have a, a four and a half, there's my four and a half, and I have a six uh, inch photo. That's gonna be perfect. Now. Before we get out of here, we gotta put the lines on it. So easiest thing to do is grab the line tool. It's right up there. And uh, there's gonna be a purple dot right in the middle of your photo. So you literally, sometimes it does that by the way. You can just grab it and drag it down to the other purple dot. And that gives you your nice line. Now this is six inches. So we're gonna want one at the one and a half mark and then the three and a half mark as well. So let me grab that line tool and see if I can drag that and just try to make sure it's straight. And if you get it too far over or something, mine looks a little off, you can actually use, if you get it a little off, you can actually click the arrow tool and then uh, just use the arrows actually on your Chromebook to move it over a little bit. I feel like that looks more even. Okay, and then right here, I'm gonna go at the four and a half, and try to hit that. And I'm gonna come down and make sure that is as straight as possible. And again, if it looks like it's a little off, I can move it left or right. It's pretty close. Okay, and I'm gonna go the other way too. So uh, 
the, the first one's easy because you're just finding the purple dots. They tell you where the middle of the photo is and whoop, I'm gonna let it go over there. And we need two more lines here. So we're doing a four by four grid here. Uh, I guess I need, hmm, I guess if it's four and a half, it would be two and a quarter. So I think I need like the one in that first little line that should be close. Oops, I lost it. Sometimes it just spazzes and does its own thing, but you can still move it. And then uh, same thing down here. Uh, I'm gonna put one more line in and I think right about there. And if it's not right, I can always move it. That actually looks pretty even to me. And that's it. And when you get that done, you're gonna hit save and close. And voila, it's right in your document. Uh, and I'll be able to check it. 